the raving blues that never seem to tire out, always on a move, like nomadic caravans, from the slightest sound or encompassing position, like a satellite hovering and dancing from above, it intrigues and fascinates the observer. The piercing blues that cause so much commotion and excitement in my soul, sending it into a bliss of mind-bending thoughts, like a foundry's heat that consumes my inquisitive yearning that contests debate, promoting sanity in a ever-winding circular motion of complex undertaking. Like a dungeon, they imprison me as they go about its taxing ways. Innocent partaker of the observer, oblivion host. In the world of sadness, blue is not so blue after all. The oceans, the vaulted sky, the covenant ark. Blue is eternal as promise from above. Two blue pearls in the socket that reveal enigmas and provide a multitude of reasoning. Enlighten me, charm me, leave my soul captive in want. I make oaths with Almighty Yahweh to never remove me from your sight. Keep me riding and sleepless day and night. Drain my energy, my life resources. I feel the sense and meaning of true giving around me. Let the heavens be weighted down on our behalf, and his host rejoice one more time. If it's a sin to let go from the abundance of the heart, then I boast as one of them all. I chase the heart as a child would after the passing of a butterfly, as it explores a new world of curiosities laughing and smiling without contempt, lighting up the biggest fire, racing out of control in the giver's want. The poet, in quest to decipher meaning and revelation, the ultimate opportunity to engage in a ritual so ancient and yet all-embracing, like an outcast in all his approach, like mission auto impossible, he makes good medicine of what is placed before him. A road tread once too often, he walks away with his head bowed, ever vigilant of what's next in his quest to reveal. The enigmatic blues and beautiful of them all, the one subject unique of them all, the shack I frequent to quell my thirst and hunger, the honoree of my life esteems, toss oblivion host. The inspirations never seem to vanish, yet I have matured riddles. Only if I could remain youthful forever to chase the uncatchable, to race against the wind one more time, to exhaust not like a wolverine relentless in his search, his pursuit. Almighty God, be the blue eyes in the world in which I seek encouragement, and we shall write many good words together. I write for you, Almighty One, at all times. When I contemplate beauty of all sort, not far away I am writing about your infinite designs, the everlasting perfect bond of love imprinted in us humans. She is beautiful like Eden, indeed, and many jubilating souls praise her for the woman she has become. A thousand spring seasons may linger in paradise, but as for me, you will be my favorite under God Almighty's watchful eyes. As I serenade you and him with expression of endearment, I have made you my daily prayer, and in these last days I am not sure about my call, but certainly I have faith 
that in paradise God Almighty will afford me a link pen where my thoughts race once again after you just to unsettle my soul their twins who is worthy of this inspiration only those blues can tell admirable and skilled parents worthy of tribute and offsprings that shower like a cascading powerful crag of waterfalls keep pushing my threshold I seek an audience with you once again because my spirit is always at lost.